Thank you for joining me today, Rowan Johnson. It's a pleasure to have you. Pleasure being here. The questions that we want to discuss today, and I want you to help me inspire upcoming entrepreneurs, and you mm. are an expert at this topic. My first question to you yeah. today is, um, what are some of the attributes that an entrepreneur should have? Well, Daniel, over the past seven years as an entrepreneur, you know, failing and succeeding in business, I found that it is important for an entrepreneur to have the following three traits. One, they must be a calculated risk taker. Okay. Two, they should be persistent. And three, they should also be a big dreamer. Wow. Um, why is this so? Why should they be calculated? Why, why should they be thought of as a calculated risk taker? Mm -hmm. Why must they be persistent? And why should they be considered a big dreamer? Why is this so? Alright, you see, in terms of taking calculated risks, when I see an opportunity that has potential, I often consider, do I possess the competence required to transform this opportunity into a viable venture. I find this as an important practice as when you have no shade of a doubt about your ability, then you approach a task with a high degree of confidence. Okay. And that confidence is key to winning because once you lack confidence, it will show. Okay. Right? It will show in your below par workmanship and your poor work ethic. And these are, without a doubt, recipes for disaster in business okay. and also life in general. Okay. In terms of being persistent. Persistent, yes. As with any task, mm -hmm. so it is with business. You will come across challenges, right? The entrepreneur with an inviolable desire to succeed, however, will not be stopped. Okay. He will press, push, and persist through whatever obstacle he encounters. Okay. He will try an innumerable amount of times until he achieves. For such a person, success is an inevitability. Wow. How mm. about a big dreamer? No, in terms of dreaming big, mm -hmm. I found that having a larger vision of yourself and in particular your business is an absolute essential for entrepreneurs. Your ambition will drive your persistence. That is the visualization of your goal will fuel your desire to attain it. Okay. Furthermore, it was a confidence that you have in your ability that gives you the belief that you can indeed achieve it. Small though it may be at the onset, yes. continue to visualize your larger goal being sure to set milestones along the way right yes. these will serve as encouragement as you make strides towards your desired outcome wow that was quite a mouthful mr johnson question what are the steps needed to start a business here in jamaica all right the actual process of entrepreneurship i'm of the belief remains general across the board okay regardless of whichever country you're in okay so i would recommend though that you try to get your product right and lock in who your customers are before registering your business okay. with that said here are three basic steps that you should that you could use okay. when thinking about starting a business one, you should have a clear idea of what you want to offer to consumers. Mm -hmm. right? Two, you should create a minimum viable product mm -hmm. that is a prototype with all the essential functions of the final product. Okay. Right? And three, you should identify your customer base. Here, you're required to go and sell your product and interview potential customers so that you are able to pinpoint who are most likely to purchase what you are offering. Oh, having a clear mind of what you want to offer customers is the number one step and it actually makes a lot of sense. Let's move on to the next question, Mr. Johnson. What are some of the challenges that a young entrepreneur face? Well, two of the main challenges 
that you know any young entrepreneur would face in particular when just starting out in business is yes. one finding good honest and trustworthy people to work with what you mean now explain so, that a little more for our listeners i believe that at any stage of business mm -hmm. right finding good people could prove to be a challenge not all people are industrious True. not <laughs> all people will take initiative and not all will care at all okay. if your business does indeed succeed right you want people who will possess all these qualities as the people you hire will have as much to do with whether the business is a success or not okay. therefore right therefore it's important to get it right whether it's making a hire or in choosing a partner okay. now another challenge is learning to focus your energy on a singular aim being specific with what you want yes man because when you're young you have loads of energy and, and ideas because okay. of your youth you adopt an indomitable demeanor okay. right this wanting to do it all and believing that you can do it all but focus however is critical to, to achieving the big dreams that you have okay. not that you shouldn't have time for other activities but the bulk of your energy must be dedicated to realizing your goal okay very interesting Rowan um, what advice would you give to young and or upcoming entrepreneurs you know the the singular advice that I would give to young and upcoming entrepreneurs and also young people in general is to never let anyone tell you how to dream makes a lot of sense thank you so very much mr rowan johnson yeah. you Appreciate have a you wealth of knowledge sitting here and telling me about and mr johnson thank you so very much for taking the time out to sit with me and answer my question so ably i just trust that my followers teens and upcoming entrepreneurs will find these answers very effective it was indeed my pleasure, Daniel. Thank you so very much, sir. You're welcome.